In this video, you will learn how to use automations in Brevo, and this is probably the most powerful feature on the platform. So you don't have to do everything manually. Instead, you just set it once and it will do the work for you forever. This is the secret of working less, but getting higher engagement, sales and revenue from your email list. Hello, internet people. My name is Robert and I help creators with the tech side of their business. This video is the last of a three part series where you learn everything about Brevo as an email marketing platform. Brevo is also sponsor of this video. If you don't have an account yet, then sign up with Brevo by using my link, uh, which you can find in the video description, and you will save 50% on Brevo starter and business plans if you go with the annual subscription. To get started, log in and head to the automations menu in Brevo. And you have here automations, click on that, and then you can create a new automation from here. You'll notice that uh, you have a few options. These are the templates. Let's click on all. So for example, if you want to, if you have an e-commerce store and you want to send out an abandonment cart email, then you have a template for that. And there's a few other ones. But in this story, we're going to actually build it from scratch using the new editor. Let's click on this one. Great. This is basically the automation editor. And here we'll see all the steps. And the, these, these are the uh, things we can add as a step. So let's give this a name. I'm going to just call it welcome automation one and then confirm the name by clicking on this icon. And now we can get to these. So you have three things here, triggers, actions, and rules. We're going to go through each of them in this tutorial. So first of all, you need to trigger your automation. It's the starting point for your automation in many times, especially if you're using Brevo as an email marketing tool, it's going to be contact added to list. So you can just drag it in here. Notice how there are many other triggers as well, like anniversary or contact matches, custom filters. You also have all the other features that Brevo comes with, for example, deals. That's the CRM part of this platform meetings website and so on. So there's a lot of different ways you can start this automation. But let's now click on this one. This is probably the most used one. And let's pick a list. So when somebody signs up and they are added to this list, interested in YouTube, that's when this automation starts. After that, we could take an action. So we could say, hey, uh, actually, I want to send out email as soon as they join this list. And this email could be, uh, let's give it a name, welcome email. Welcome email one, and then click on confirm here. Here, select template. You can use one of the templates you already have. These are the default ones. Uh, you can also use any emails you already sent out before uh, or the Brevo layouts or Brevo designs as well. I'm going to use a campaign because I'm just using this as an example. So I'm going to click on use. And this is now the email editor and you would work with it as you would with uh, any emails that you've sent out before adjust everything. And then when you're done, just click on use this design in automation. You'll see that here is the email. So that's what we uh, set up here. That's the first email that would go. And you have the subject line here that's already added from the campaign, but you could change all this information as you wish. You have also additional settings here. If you need, just to make sure you know about these, like add a tag or activate Google Analytics tracking. Um, but for now, we don't need those things. Let's save this now. Does it make sense to send out an email immediately when they join the list? If you don't have any type of a confirmation email, then it does make sense. You're basically welcoming people to your newsletter and that way they know that they actually, you know, they, they achieve their desired action. They subscribe to your newsletter. However, if you do send out a confirmation email, I would add a rule here. Let's click on the rule and we're going to add a time delay here because I'm sending a confirmation email. I don't want to send out immediately a welcome email. It's just too many emails at the same time. So you can either choose to send out the email a few hours later or a day later. So I'm going to just put one day here. So now what happens is when they join the list, uh, automatically they will get a confirmation email and then it waits for one day and it sends out my welcome email one. Now what we could do is add another time delay here like this. And let's say the next day it's going to send out the second email from here. I can choose again an email and let's give it a name, save the name. And for now, I'm just going to save it as we will have some uh, errors like this just to be quicker for this tutorial. And then let's say uh, after this, they are done with the welcome emails. Maybe you send out one more uh, welcome email after this, uh, but once they're done, you could add them to another list. So let's add this here, add contact to a list. And in this case, I don't have a list that I could add, but let's create a new list and I'm going to call this main newsletter. And then from here, I can just choose the folder and create the list. So why would I do this? The benefit of this is now you have one list 
that they've gone through your welcome automation. They know a little bit about you. And now you can start sending out your, uh, your weekly emails or whatever is your frequency for your newsletter. So this means whenever you send a campaign email, then you can always just uh, send it to the main newsletter. And this way you will exclude the people that are in your welcome automation, but include everybody else that has gone through it and are ready to receive your normal newsletter. Let's save this. Now, this is a very simple automation. And in many cases, you don't need to do anything more than this. However, in some cases, you do want to add a little bit more logic to this. So let's add another rule here and let's add a conditional split. So let's say here, uh, as part of our sign up process, they get a freebie. So they click on a button and they can download a PDF. So then what we can do is add this conditional logic. We're going to add it. Uh, we're going to add it here one day after. And the conditional split just means that if, uh, if certain action or filter matches, uh, yes or no. So if it uh, matches, then you go here. If it doesn't, then you go in another flow uh, as a no answer here. So let's uh, pick our conditions here, click add, and we're going to add a filter and we're going to say, okay, email. And from here you can find link clicked in an email. So let's click on that one. Now we can add another filter and we say email name. Now you can specify if somebody clicks on a link in a specific email, then do something, or then you have a yes or no kind of a logic. And the email I'm looking at is this one. I've set it up as my confirmation email where people get a free uh, PDF. So let's uh, pick that one. So the way this works now, it looks at if somebody clicks on anything in an email named default template, double opt-in and so on. If it's true, then they will go into this flow. And if it's not true, then they go in this uh, flow. This just means that if they didn't click on my freebie, they didn't receive it. I want to send out a, a reminder that, hey, you haven't yet downloaded this. So here's the link to it. Uh, go and have fun. So let's do that. So let's save this. And then we go to actions. From here, we can send an email. I'm going to call it freebie reminder and confirm the name. And then you would set up the email as you would normally do. And this way we're sending a reminder that, hey, you need to download the, your free book. We just want to make sure that they get all the value they can. Now, if we would leave it at this, this would just end the automation for these people and they would not get any of these welcome emails. What we want to do is actually add a rule here and we're going to say, no, sorry, an action. And if you scroll down, you have here start uh, redirect contact to another step. So if you drag it here, so once they're done with this, they are going to go back to this welcome email. So let's select this. And now you can select a step, then select this and click on this button here on this link to double check that you've selected correct one. You, what you can do. Okay. Here it says, um, let me save this. It says here, step two, send email. Okay. So it goes to this step. If you click on this step, you'll see that the step ID is two. Okay, great. So it goes from here to here. Now it would go directly here. That means you would get the freebie reminder and also welcome email almost at the same time. And we, we don't want that. So let's add a little delay here. Let me close this and go to rules, time delay, add it here. And again, a day later, and only after a day, we redirect them to this flow. So you, they receive welcome email for the first time. So I would just encourage you to check what actions you have here and what triggers you have, because there's a lot of different options, um, but don't get overwhelmed with it. Just start simple and get something up. So you get more comfortable with using automation. Uh, let me just update this quickly. I'm going to pause the video so that we can go to the next step. Okay. So now I don't have any errors. So let's take a look at a few more settings here. You have audience. And you have three things you can set it here. You have the re-entry. So if somebody joins your list again, what happens? Uh, in most cases, you just want to allow contact to re-entry after they leave it. So they unsubscribe and then they subscribe again. So they will just get the same flow again. And then you also have exit conditions. And this is really useful if you're sending out, for example, uh, I don't know, you have a sales campaign and you have three different emails. But what if the person already bought the, the product after the first email? You don't want to send out the other sales emails to that person. Then you could set the exit conditions here based on these parameters, for example, for website, web page visited. For example, if they visit your uh, purchase thank you page, and then you just exit them from, uh, from this automation. So it's really useful for certain cases where you want to stop people receiving these emails. They have restart conditions and this just restarts the whole automation. Uh, I don't see where you would need this, except maybe if you have some sort of uh, 
email course that you provide and somebody wants to start it over. But in most cases, you're not going to need this condition. But exit and re-entry, uh, those ones are good. So let me allow the contract contact every entry after exit and then save the condition. Then let's go to statistics. And this is where you're going to see data about your uh, this automation. You'll see the total opens, total clicks, unsubscribes, and also how many people are actually in this step at that time. So uh, it's nice to see when you start having people in the flow. Okay, let's go back to Builder. And here we can now activate this automation and it's asking us the same question here, but let's just activate the automation. From here on uh, now, you can manage the status. For example, if you want to pause it or deactivate it, if you need to update uh, things. But the best way to test it is to actually just go and sign up to your newsletter to this specific list. And that way you'll go through this uh, flow. If you don't want to wait for a day, what you could do is just, you know, uh, instead of one day, just set it to one minute and you'll go quickly through this, uh, this flow without, you know, needing to wait for many days. And then once you're done, you can exit the editor. And now you have here one automation ready to go. Or if you need to edit, this is where you would find it. The other things you have in under automation are the logs. This is where you're just going to have a bit more data about your automations. Uh, then you have email templates, but these are basically same as under campaigns. So they are, they share the same um, menu here. Uh, you see we're now under campaigns instead of automations. Hey, if you're trying to write an email, but you end up staring at a blank page, having no idea what to write about, then check out my free email templates where I've created a few starting points for an email newsletter. These templates give you a format that's proven to perform online. And all you have to do is just fill in the blanks. If you want it, grab it. It's the link in the video description. Description. So if you want to take Brevo automations to the next level, then you need to check the tracker feature, which basically enables you to trigger automations based on certain actions that people take on your website. Let me show you uh, because this feature is really exciting. And then we have some settings here. And these are really cool, this uh, tracking code, because Brevo enables you to uh, track certain actions on your website. So uh, that way you can connect your Brevo contacts to actions on website. And the way uh, you install this tracker is pretty simple. Here's a diagram. But basically you install this tracker to your website. It's just a, a one script. You can see it here. It's just this, this script that you need to install in the head section of your website. And then what you'll be able to do is you can see here the step two, the tracker monitors your website activity in real time. So it's just going to uh, monitor everything. And then the tracker sends data about a visitor who viewed your website to Brevo. And then you can do things based on that data. So for example, if somebody visits a certain page like this one, thegreenyoga.com slash pants, then if they visit this, you can send them a discount code specifically for the yoga pass because they just viewed them. You see how powerful that is? Whatever people do on your uh, page, well, let's say that's uh, your product page or your course page, you're able to send uh, things based on that. And not many email marketing providers are able to do this. So this is a really cool feature. It's a bit more advanced, but I definitely would look into it once you start to uh, be more familiar with Brevo. And then the last step, obviously, if they do purchase and they use that discount code, uh, you'll be able to see that purchase in Brevo as well. Uh, some of these will require some extra setup. So if you just put the script, it won't work. But uh, with, for example, sending the, the coupon code, you can do that with automations. So that's why you find the tracker on their automations because they are so uh, closely tied. So in automations, you're able to actually say, let me quickly show. So I could start this automation instead of contact added to list, but I could actually start it when here, web page visited. So if somebody visits certain web page here, you can add a filter, then uh, here URL. So uh, let's say I have a thank you page or maybe I have my course page. Let's say it's, it's like that, add a filter. Whenever somebody visits that page, you can do an automation based on that. And this is just so powerful because you're able to personalize the experience for your subscribers, for your contacts. And for example, if they are interested in YouTube course, you're not going to send them offer for a Facebook course. No, now, you know, they've been to the YouTube course page and you can send out an offer 
uh, based on that. You see how many possibilities the tracker gives you? You can start doing some really targeted emails. And the cool thing is that basic installation is super simple. Okay, great. Now pretty much you know every feature that you need for emails in Brevo. So the next step is to learn how to use Brevo's CRM features. That way you can turn contacts to customers and then manage all the steps between. To learn how to use Brevo's CRM, click on this video right here to watch the tutorial.